Welcome back. This is going to be my daily forecast from the FANG stocks or after FANG stocks. And um, uh, we're going to start out by looking at Facebook and uh, then Amazon, Apple, uh, Google and Netflix. So uh, you're welcome to support this channel if you like these videos by hitting the subscriber button and the like button and, and so on. So if you look at Facebook, most of these stocks rallied quite significantly yesterday. So they did touch the 200 moving average and then bounce. However, we're basically trading between the 50 moving average, this red line here, and the 50 moving average uh, here. Um, at this point, this market probably will go lower. Uh, uh, expected that the Nasdaq will go lower and these companies are probably the main reason for that because they are fairly overvalued um, and they just got way up ahead of themselves. We can just look at the massive growth these companies have had uh, from the bottom of this market. Uh, Facebook uh, went from a, from a low to highs and basically grew within four months 121%. Uh, when the stock does that, it has to fall. And basically what we're seeing now is that we have a pullback and um, yeah, probably will go uh, a little bit lower here before we continue higher. These companies are not in trouble. They are the most profitable companies in the world. So they have no problems there uh, if their stock falls and so on for a short amount of time. So we did not manage to get to the 50 moving average. We did have a massive pullback like we did have a pullback for most of the fan stocks today. And therefore, the Nasdaq is also getting an absolute beating. The Nasdaq and the S&P 500 because these companies are, uh, for the Nasdaq, 50% and for the S&P 500, around 50%. So we will probably go and retest this 100 moving average. If we were to break the 100 moving average, we would go all the way down to uh, probably this level here, which is the 50, 150 moving average, and we have the 200 moving average also underneath. So we could see uh, $222, uh, which would be uh, a fairly good entry point for, for Facebook. At some point, this market will turn around and go the upside. Probably the main reason why we had this pullback day is because the Fed <clears throat> of the Fed comments, uh, which um, which is expecting that the world economy and the U.S. economy will probably look really bad for a very long time. Technical indicators they are haven't changed that much. The MACD is still in the negative zone and uh, and is not even close to the signal line. We are fairly oversold uh, at this point, so. We may stick around for some time. We'll probably go all the way. I did expect us to go to the 50 moving average before we go down. And one of the main reasons why I say this is because of the stochastic. We see that the kind of stochastic has turned around and it's now a, you know, upwards momentum. If we cross the red line and <clears throat> we probably go all the way to this uh, line here. And that means that we will most likely go through the 50 moving average and test these other two moving average before we go down. The same goes for the Bollinger Band. We uh, went all the way to the lows and now we're basically traveling slowly to the upside. Um, at this point, for most of these stocks, this is just value hunting. Buy this as low as you can get it. Uh, the lower the better uh, for most of these stocks, about everybody, all of these stocks. If you look at Amazon, it uh, it um, it's the same thing. We uh, touched on uh, 100 moving average two three days ago, and then we went all the way up to this um, uh, 40 exponential moving average, and the end day we are basically having a pullback. So Amazon had a massive day yesterday. Uh, however, today we are having a pullback, and. Uh, we most likely will stay within this range for some time. If you look at the technical indicators, they are looking fairly uh, more, they're positive, more positive than for Facebook. We are not that close from the signal line and probably within a few trading days, we'll cross the signal line and then go back up again. We're not in oversold condition. We're basically at the edge and the stochastic is basically pointing upwards. However, in the long run, we may see some downward pressure 
like we're seeing today before we turn around. However, this is uh, Amazon we're talking about and more and more people are buying online. So that benefits Amazon and that basically will just push this market higher. This is the same thing. Um, buy the dips because this company is not going anywhere. This is technically the future of, uh, of, uh, of uh, basically the world economy that people will buy online. So this market will go higher and higher and higher. Yes, if we look at Apple, Apple, the same thing. We uh, didn't even get close to the, uh, to the 100 moving average. Um, I do expect us to go all the way down to the uh, to the the, 50, the 100 moving average, which is around uh, $98 to $100. But at this point, uh, Apple rallied uh, on Monday. It rallied also on, uh, on yesterday. And today, we're having a pullback. Um, and uh, we are oversold. Uh, so we may see this market stay in this area for some time, probably head to the 20 expansion moving average before going down again. Um, even though this is the, probably the best company in the world, most valuable company in the world, um, it got way ahead of itself. Um, it grew, mm, how much? It grew 153% within only a few months. So it basically needs this uh, pullback. Um, that was expected. And and I'm guessing that um, from all the technical indicators, if we look at the weekly charts, we still have some downward pressure for the weekly charts. So we'll go lower with Apple. This is an absolute uh, amazing stock to buy when you get it for the right price because this stock grows and it also pays a fairly good dividends. So if we look at Netflix, Netflix is uh, down 1.54% at this point. And the same thing here, we went all the way to the 50 uh, moving average, almost at the 50 moving average. And now we're basically having this uh, turnaround. Um, the MACD is looking fairly better for, for uh, Netflix, we are not that far away from the signal line. We are oversold, and the stochastic is basically, uh, uh, it's basically upward momentum. So we may, at best, go to the 100 moving average before we basically bounce from here. And I, I expect sometimes next week we'll probably break through here. Um, and uh, and because and it looked like the 100 moving average was very, very resilient for, for this market. So I don't expect this market to fall um, much further than the 100 moving average. If we do break the 100 moving average, we'll go to the 200 moving average, which is at 432. Um, yeah, so we look at Google. Google is down today 1.23%. Uh, uh, we went all the way down to the 200 moving average, bounced from there yesterday, and now we're having a pullback. And at this point, I think that we'll go back to the 200 moving average. This MACD is, is basically very, very negative. And at this point, we're also very oversold. Um, so these technical indicators are fairly negative for Google. So at, at some point, probably today or tomorrow, we'll most likely revisit the 200 moving average and then go higher from there. Uh, the two, this, uh, move, these moving averages, especially the pink one, 150, have historically been um, fairly supportive. We see it back here in end of June. We also see it here in the mid of May and also in the beginning of May. So expect the 150 moving average together with the 200 moving average to be a fairly significant support for this stock. So that is it for today. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing and hitting the like button and the bell button if you want to see our newest videos. So good luck and uh, happy trading. Thank you very much.